Hi guys. My name is Chastity King and I am in long-term abstinence-based recovery from addiction, opioids and among other substances. And in this video, you will hear me speak to a freshman class at Bessemer City High School where I was a former student sharing my experience with addiction, faith and recovery. First, I just want to thank everybody here for actually showing up to class and listening. Um, I know there was several times that I walked into this school and skipped class, walked right back out to go get high. So it speaks volumes that you are even here in this chair today. And I want to honor that and I want to acknowledge that. So thank you. And I was an A honor all student. I was actually a varsity cheerleader. This is my picture in a Bessemer City High School cheerleading uniform. Throughout my my years at school, I was very involved in sports, not just cheerleading, but I played softball as well. I was a member of the Beta Club, member of the Student Council. I was a member of the Save Club, Students Against Violence Everywhere. Even in elementary school, I participated in their drug abuse resistant education and won first place for the essay. Ironically, that was the same year that I started using drugs. And so Maceo talked about some of the signs of using opioids or using drugs and some of those that he talked about specifically the behavioral signs all of those started to manifest in my life because for a while I was the good girl who never I was the good girl who was the bad girl who never got caught until my addiction caught up with me and then all those signs that he talked about started manifesting in my life so I began using with my family on the weekends and from there it progressed to during the week because the moment that I got high, I wanted to do it again because I loved the way that it made me feel. If I was feeling bad, I wanted to feel good. If I was feeling good, I wanted to feel better. And it seemed like drugs helped with that in the beginning. And so I didn't just want it to be a weekend thing. I wanted it to be an everyday thing. And so... I started to seek out other people who were doing what I wanted to do. And so I found the kids in my school who were doing drugs. And so like that sign, that behavioral sign, I started to change friends. I started to change my peer group. And then I started skipping class. And then my grades dropped. So I went from an A honor roll student involved in all kinds of activities to the times that I would show up in class, I would just fall asleep. And then sometimes the teacher wouldn't even pass me out my work anymore. And then eventually dropped out when I was 15. And then I'd jump and then I'd hit bottom again. And that's when I would like lose the job and I would lose the car and I would lose my house and everything would fall to pieces. And because everything that come to my hands slipped through my hands, even the dope. Because whenever I was using drugs, using drugs was the most important thing. I said, I'm never doing this again. Never doing this again. And I meant it with every fiber of my being. Not even telling my family and friends anymore. Just telling that to myself. But finding myself still doing it again. Finding myself at the top of that cliff. Peering over the edge. Saying, I'm not jumping. I'm not jumping. I'm not doing this. I'm not getting high. And then next thing you know, bam. I jumped again. And here I am at the bottom of this cliff. At the same place I was in the beginning. And so I just did that over and over for years until the last time, until the last time that I jumped off that cliff and it was a little bit different this time because this time I couldn't get back up. This time I laid there lifeless, not knowing if I could ever get back up from the ground that I just barreled through. And so that's whenever I started to seek I started to seek God because I knew something was wrong. I knew something spiritually was wrong, and I knew drugs were definitely part of the problem, but I knew that it was just bigger than the drugs. And I started reading the Bible, and I put my faith in Jesus, and something inside of me changed. And for the first time ever in my lifetime, I was able to gain some momentum, and I was able to quit using drugs for a period of time, 
or the drugs that I thought were the problem, but I still continue to drink. I did that in November 2015. By December, for Christmas, I went out to a bar, had some drinks with some family friends, thinking alcohol was okay. And then January, my birthday came, I went out with my mom and had a mixed drink to celebrate because I, that's okay. It's legal, right? It's not the problem. Just meth and heroin and opioids was the problem. But then by February, I found myself hanging out with a bunch of guys every single weekend drinking beer. And then by March, I was back with my husband, and I was shooting heroin and liquid morphine and meth every single day. But more importantly, I have purpose today. I have meaning today. My life has passion today. And so what I want you to take away today, I heard um, the young man right here talk about a natural high. Find that natural high in your life. What drives you? What is your passion? Because the natural high of life will never run out. But the counterfeit high that drugs offer is just that. It's counterfeit. And it may be good in the beginning, but the end always results in death. And whether that death is a spiritual death or a physical death, either way, I wouldn't want to experience either one of them. Yeah, I still remember your way around school. Yes, I do. <laughs>